Okay, so I didn't really want to make this video at first, but from the insane amount of people that were telling me to do it, uh, my social media and and even just friends, I decided, you know, why not? We haven't had one of these sit down videos in a while. Now before, you know, you either like or even dislike this video or comment anything, just relax. I want to have a discussion with you, my viewers, or just anyone that is watching this video, a mature discussion as mature as possible on the internet, which I know is difficult at times. And I want this to be just a, a full blown discussion in the comments and in general to just talk about this because I think it's important when things like this happen, mishaps or miscommunications by somebody, I think it is important to at least figure out how we can improve a situation. How can we take something that happened that was bad and try to grow or learn from it, um, whether it's the creator itself or just as a community because this is still what it is, as large as it is, a community where we can try to help. You know, that's the overall goal. And for those of you uh, that may not know, or I'm sure you do if you're watching this, uh, but if you don't, Logan Paul, who is from the Low Gang, you know, Logan Paul Vlogs, huge YouTuber, he has 15 million plus subscribers, um, one of the biggest YouTubers out there, no doubt about it, made a video where he went to the uh, suicide forest in Japan. And I'm not going to show any of the clips because I know a lot of people get uh, triggered by things very easily, I, and especially this video. So I'm not going to show any clips, so don't worry. Uh, there's no issue there. Basically, the overall context of the video, it starts off with a little bit of a warning um, where he's, you know, please be advised, all that stuff, you know. Uh, he kind of sits down, he talks about how serious this was and blah, blah, blah. And then he gets into the vlog, and it's kind of like a normal vlog a little bit, you know, the hyper Logan. And then there's a part, the suicide forest is basically uh, a place in Japan where people go to commit suicide. It is a, a peaceful place where people go and... Uh, they do that. It is very sad, but it is very real. There have been videos about this, but A, not from a such a large YouTuber with a small, like literally a child following, and B, with the context of what happens. So what happens is they discover a body. They discover a man hanging from a tree. Um, obviously, he is not alive, and most people at that point, you know, who would think about this would just either look and just stop filming and just go, that was insane. Maybe you talk about what you saw on the camera afterwards. Um, but Logan and his friends, um, who I don't know, so whatever, um, filmed it. And not only did they film it, but they kind of zoomed in and they blurred the face, but you see the hands. And even me, who's somebody that, you know, has seen something like that before, that messed me up, you know. As an, uh, me as an adult male, even watching that messed me up. And it was bad and... It was so bizarre because he kind of, you know, talks about it afterwards and kind of talks about suicide awareness and stuff, which it, which is fine, right? I'm not saying that that was bad. But, you know, a minute after he sees that body, he's kind of making jokes. Now, maybe he's one of the type of people um, that when they have something so messed up, they make jokes and, to, you know, to get over things. Once again, that happens. That's fine, okay? I even get like that sometimes when something's so bad, you almost have to try to make it get out of your head somehow. But why would you put that in the video? You know, and, and laughing at parts of the video and, you know, even if it was his way of doing it, you could just cut it all out. So I wanted to talk about the apology. Another reason why people were very upset is because, not only because of that, uh, because the thumbnail kind of had the back picture of the body in the background and the title itself was, we found a dead body in the Japanese suicide forest which is a heavy, you know, a, 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 it's not a clickbait, right? It is a real thing, but it's heavy. So here's his apology. Where do I begin? Let's start with this, I'm sorry. Okay, so he starts off saying I'm sorry, which is fine, right? That's good. This is a first for me. I've never been faced, I've never faced criticism like this before because I've never made a mistake like this before. I'm surrounded by good people and believe I make good decisions, but I'm still a human being and I can be wrong. Fine. This is where he really loses me. I didn't do it for views, I get views. Okay. In an apology where you have, you have really tainted the minds of a bunch of children and adults and everyone alike, you are now kind of humble bragging by saying, it's not about the views, I get them. That line shouldn't have even been there, right? That to me shows that, is he truly sorry? No, he's already kind of defending himself by saying, I already get views, unlike you guys. I thought that was really unnecessary. I did it because I could make a positive ripple on the internet, not cause a monsoon of negativity. Now I'm gonna be real, right? This is just my opinion, and my opinion may not be right. This is my opinion on my channel. Logan Paul is a daily vlogger, right? He needs content daily. The reason why he went to this suicide far forest, in my opinion, was not for suicide prevention. That's just my opinion. I think he went to get views, right? Now I'm not saying he expected this to happen, but when you go to a place called the suicide forest, 
where people do that, there are is, is a likelihood that you may see a body. Okay? Now, I'm not saying he was excited about it. I'm not saying he planned for it. But it happened. And that's the way it is. Okay? For him to then upload that entire video, instead of just saying, guys, something too bad happened. I'm just going to cut the whole thing. And I'll explain later in another video. But then to make the thumbnail and the title like that, to me, shows that it is about the views. Right? Because that's what it is on YouTube these days. Everything is about the views. It's the shock factor, okay? It's how extreme of a video is this? How, what can we do? You know, he flew to Japan to go to this forest. Now, I'm not sure if he went just for that, but he went there to film. And if you're not thinking that is for views in some way, I just think you're wrong. Because that is what got them big. You know, making videos about topics that get views and doing crazy things, look at his brother. I mean, that's what happened. The colorblind video, which ended up being proven that he's not even colorblind, that was one of the videos that blew him up. That was for views, okay? He took hate for that. This, in my opinion, in my opinion, was for views and publicity. I'm not saying that he meant for this to happen with the body being there. That is not what I'm saying, but it was there. And he should have used way better judgment in terms of how he went about that in terms of not even uploading the video or even showing any of that, the zoom ins and the jokes afterwards, whether they were meant to be jokes or not, is in poor taste because that is somebody that has a family, okay? Who knows if that's how they found out? You just never know. And there are so many people, viewers of mine, viewers of his, that know someone that has committed suicide, whether it's a loved one or a friend, or have those thoughts. I personally had a roommate that I was living with last year who went through that about a room next to me. And his life was saved because of a suicide prevention text line. And that is something that I then had to deal with thinking, oh my gosh, why, what the heck? I, I was right there. You know, I didn't even know. And, and it's very heavy for a lot of people. And I think he just didn't understand that. And that's a major issue. He goes on to say, uh, I decided to raise awareness for suicide prevention. And while I thought if this video saves one life, it'll be worth it. I was misguided by shock and all as portrayed in this video. I still am. Maybe... In his mind, he did think that he was going to save a life by this. And, and that may be true, and I will give him the benefit of the doubt on that. I, I'm hoping he is not lying about that. But once again, to me, it's kind of saying, look at all the lives you may have affected. But if you just helped one person, you know, it's like you got to look at the balance of like, is this going to hurt people or help people? It's either or. And if it can hurt more people than it can help, you have to go that route, okay? So you want to help people, not cause them mental harm. And I'll get into that in a little bit. He then says, I do this shit every day. Like I said, I've made a, a, I've made a 15 minute TV show every single day for the past 460 days. One may understand that it's easy to get caught up in the moment without fully weighing the possible ramifications. Once again, I, I get that idea of making a video every day. It's probably stressful. Lord knows I can barely make one a week sometimes. Okay. I understand that. I, I get that he's hustling. I get he's working hard and that's fine. But that should not be an excuse to have such a mental lapse of this. That is just absolute poor judgment. And whether you're a Logan fan or not, look, you can be a fan of Logan Paul. I'm not telling you who to watch, who to support. That's not my opinion. But what you should do is call people out when they are wrong. You can support somebody and love that person. But when they mess up, instead of blindly defending them, you can say, they messed up and I hope they don't mess up again. And you know what? Maybe they will learn a lesson from this. Maybe Logan Paul will genuinely learn from this. But from this apology, I just don't feel like it was a sincere apology. But once again, I will give him the benefit of the doubt and hope to God that this is something that never happens again and he learns from it. But this shouldn't have happened in the first place, especially being that he had a team of people around him who could have and should have said and may have said, hey man, that's really dark. It's YouTube, man. And you got a guy like Logan Paul, whose demographic known to everybody is about probably eight to 14, I would say, his biggest demographic. There's a lot of kids. My cousins watch him, they're 10 years old. Okay, so now you have all these kids that are seeing a, maybe a dead body for the first time and then having to process all this information about suicide, which, which is deep. And I know some people are going to say, well, he put the warning there. He put the warning and he said, you can't expect people to stop watching at that point, right? Because you're going from a guy whose vlogs are upbeat and fun and happy all the time to then this out of nowhere. It's not like this is a channel where it's a guy that goes around different places talking about suicide prevention. No, this is a comedy vlog channel who then makes a video in a forest that has to do with suicide. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's tough. And if you're a kid, say you're 10 years old, are you really going to stop 
watching at that point? No. When, when Jackass made videos and they said, do not try this at home, guess what? Kids tried it, including myself. When I was watching wrestling as a kid, the WWF, when it said, please do not try this at home, guess what we did? We saw that we said, we want to try this at home. Now, I'm not saying that that warning is going to make people do anything. I'm just saying I don't think that that was enough of a barrier, of a protector to stop people from watching it. Then you have the argument that I saw that, you know, uh, parents should be doing a better job monitoring their children instead of watching this. Okay, now one, that's, that's a valid point for some degrees. But number two goes back to my other point of, this is a guy who parents have probably seen and gone, okay, he, he bleeps his curses, he does preach positivity, um, you know, we, they've probably watched videos of his before and probably did allow them to subscribe to Logan Paul, right? So they've said, okay, we'll allow it, you know, it, it's at least PC enough. And then this happens. So it's hard for a parent to be there every single minute of the day. Number two, the, number, the biggest one, in my opinion, is this is on YouTube, right? This video was on the trending page. So you have YouTube who practices this stuff with demonetization saying, you know, we can't have this and this. They banned LGBT videos before they got caught. Okay, I made that video last week where I, I had a mystery box. That got demonetized and there are people getting videos flagged, taken down left and right for normal topics. But then you have a video about a dead body legit being shown on a vlog channel with 15 million subscribers that is up, not only up, but being promoted and trending. And that just shows to me that YouTube, it's only about the money. They don't actually care about the content. They don't care about any of that stuff. If it's a channel that's making them money, they will push it because it's a business for them. That's what they want. When Logan gets paid, YouTube gets paid. Now people have said he didn't, you know, in the he didn't have ads on the video. And, and once again, maybe that is true. When I watched the video, it did have ads on it. So I don't know, right? Maybe he did turn off ads and they're going somewhere else to somebody else. I don't know. Nobody knows but him at that point. But I did have ads on the video and I'm curious to see if you guys watched the video and saw it if it had ads or not as well. Continue on. I'm often reminded of how big of a reach I truly have and with great power comes great responsibility. For the first time in my life, I'm regretful to say I handled that power incorrectly. It won't happen again. I love everyone. I believe in people. I'm out here. Peace. Low gang for life. And once again, I know that this is Logan Paul's kind of blah personality doing all that stuff, but it's like, you know, he talks about, it, it, you know, it would seem to hopefully be a sincere apology, which take for it what you will. We all have our own opinion on that. But then he ends it on like, I'm out here, peace, hashtag low gang for life. There's no need to promote anything. There's no need to promote a hashtag. There's no need to promote low gang. This is not about you. It's bigger than you now. You made it bigger than you, okay? Don't, when this happens, don't, put hashtags like that. Don't, don't do that. Okay. That's just, it just seems so un, it just, it doesn't feel real to me. It feels forced. And of course he had to say something, right? The whole internet is upset at him. Parents are going crazy. People are unsubscribing. People are going nuts. Of course he's going to apologize. He's not going to say, screw it. I don't care. He had to say this, right? It's PR. This is what happens. When something bad happens like that, you have to, you have to apologize. There are right ways to go about it and they are wrong. And I think he didn't think this one fully through. Once again, I hope that he is sincere. I hope that he means what he says. I really do, I truly do. And I have my reservations about that, but I don't know, you don't know, only he knows at this point. So let's talk about suicide in general, right? It's crazy to me how many people still don't realize how serious it is, okay? And, and clearly someone like Logan and his friends probably didn't realize how serious this is and how it could affect other people. Just because you may not be affected by it, just because you aren't depressed or have suicidal thoughts, doesn't mean somebody else does. And it might be somebody you're passing in the street, might be a friend, might be a relative, you just don't know and that's the scariest part. I've known people that have committed suicide, you would have no idea, okay? Because it's inside them. So what we need to do is kind of open up the door to anybody, right? So I'm calling out any creator that watches this. Open your DMs to everybody, right? Don't close your DMs, open them and tell them if you need me, right? If you need anything, if you need a number, if you need whatever, just DM me and I will get to as many as I can. Do your part, right? Do your part, try to do whatever you can. If you're a friend of somebody and you see them a little down, if you see them maybe making a couple little jokes every now and then, Sit down, but like, hey, I just want to make sure, you know, is everything okay? Be honest with me and, and have these heart to hearts with people, right? Don't be the person that is too late on that. And if you're a YouTuber, please just, please tell your fans, your viewers, that there are other options, okay? There are, my, my roommate himself used a suicide prevention text line that saved his life, right? So to some people that may be corny, like, oh, does, that doesn't work. 
it, it does. So the suicide hotlines, the suicide preventions, and just talking to people that you think are down or not in the right place is so important because sometimes it all it takes is just talking to somebody and just trying to tell them there are better options. You can get help. You can do this. There's more to life than this. And that is so important. And I don't think that Logan's video portrayed that in any way. To me, it was like, this is really bad. This is really sad, which it is. Here's a dead body. We're zooming in. We're making a couple jokes. Okay, here's suicide prevention stuff. Goodbye. And now that video got 6 million views and he, and he removed it because of the backlash. He didn't remove it because he wanted to. He removed it because he had to. And that is my biggest gripe with everything, right? He left that video up for days. He already saw the backlash that was coming in, but it went crazy today and it was getting so out there that he finally said, you know what, I'm gonna remove it. And I bet he didn't want to. Because if he did, he would have removed it in the first hour when he saw comments saying, what is this? Why are you showing this? Parents saying, I, my nine-year-old just watched this video and he's crying, what, what are you doing? Right, that's when he could have removed the video, but he didn't. And I'm not saying it's just for the money or anything like that, but it did get six million views and it got traction to his channel. And when you're a daily vlogger and that is your living and your career, that is how, that's how it works, right? And that, once again, is ultimately the problem with all of this. So me personally, I, like I've said before, my DMs are always open on Twitter, right? Always open. You don't have to follow me, doesn't matter. They're always open, okay? So if you're a viewer of mine, if you're not a viewer of mine and you just need to reach out, sometimes you just need to vent. I'm big on that. Sometimes I just need to talk to somebody, whether they respond or listen or not, I just need to get it out of my mind. So if you're one of those people that is having those thoughts, feel free to shoot me a DM at any time, right? And I'm going to get to as many as I possibly can, but I want you to know that I, I actually care about that and it's very important to me. I do a lot of work with big brothers, big sisters. I have a little myself and I go to different events where there are a lot of kids that are, are, are very upset about things in their life and it terrifies me that that could be an option for them. It terrifies me that they could go that route. And I try to do everything in my power to talk to kids and talk to teenagers and just try to show them like, please, please stay here, like please. I literally beg people sometimes in my DMs, like, please, please. And it's rough. So I'm sorry if you watched that video and it made you feel bad, it made you feel a certain way. I'm sorry if it triggered something in you. And I hope more people can learn from this, YouTubers, anybody, to really put yourself out of your mind and put it in someone else's mind. And if you have a child audience, please stick to what content works for your audience, right? It, it's, 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 it's not like Food Network's not gonna make a food video and then do a video on race car driving, right? They're gonna stick to the food. So if you're a vlogger and you do kid vlogs and you're having a fun time, it's entertaining, please stick to that. I'm not telling you what content to make, but then don't do a video about a suicide forest. It's just not the right thing to do. And, and it's a mental lapse, but that's a really heavy mental lapse. So once again, if you are a fan of Logan and you're like, Ryan, blah, 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 blah. Look, this is my opinion, right? I'm just going off of what I think. I may not be right, Okay, that's just what, this is just my video explaining what I feel. But I'd like to see you guys in the comments down below. A, if, if you wanna talk to other people, if people are upset, if you know somebody, if you know different ways uh, to, to, that you know work to help prevent suicide or anything that issues with depression, any certain numbers, anything that you've tried, anything that friends have tried that have helped you, please comment down below and, and let everybody know, let me know. Also, I'd, I'm curious to see what you guys think. You know, are you, do you think what Logan did was wrong? Do you think that the internet is too PC? And I've been seeing some of that. Oh, people get offended about everything. And that's true, right? People do get offended about everything. And there are a lot of times where I roll my eyes at that and go, oh, that's ridiculous. That's not a big thing. This is a big thing. And you may not realize it because you don't understand it yet. And maybe, maybe you're just turning a blind eye to it. And maybe you just can't put yourself in a mindset of somebody who has watched that and it has affected them, right? And, and once again, that's okay. You, it's sometimes hard, perspective is a very hard thing to have. And sometimes it comes with age, sometimes it doesn't, right? But I, I'm curious to see what you guys think down below. Comment, and let's have an open discussion, and let's try to be, let's try to be civil, right? Let's, no cursing, no yelling, I, I'd like an actual discussion. I'm gonna be commenting back to some people, and uh, you know, uh, once again, I, I hope Logan Paul learns from this, d genuinely. Genuinely, if you watch this, Logan, just please think, you know, really think. And maybe this is something that will be a good thing for the long run, in, in the long run for you. Uh, but I really do hope you come up with a more sincere apology. I'm sure he's going to make another video apologizing that will be very well written. I think that the apology he posted on Twitter was, was really weak, in my opinion. 
Um, and I'm sorry this happened and it sucks and I'm still kind of mentally not okay about it. And that's, that's, that's just the way it is. You know, it's something that, uh, that we didn't expect. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys here next week and Hey, stay average.